Avoid simple sugars in your fuels. Use complex carbohydrates only. Um, if you are familiar with all of our fuels, we do not use anything that ends in OSE. That means there's no glucose, no sucrose, no fructose, no dextrose, no galactose. None of these one or two chain sugars. We call them simple sugars. Um, with the exception of fructose, which is the worst thing you can put in your body. And I don't mean fructose that's in the fruit. I mean just highly refined fructose. If you see anything with fructose in it, run away from it. It is the worst thing you can put in your body. Fructose barely elevates your blood sugar levels and then it drops them below fasting levels so you're worse off than when you started. It's, it's, it's horrible stuff for your body. It's a poor energy choice. And we believe uh, simple sugars like glucose or sucrose, anything that ends in OSE is, number one, they give your body a very short-term energy supply. Peak crash, or as the triathletes call it, flash and crash. Um, the second reason is that in order for a simple sugar fuel to match your body fluid chemistry, the fancy term is osmolity, and be digested with any efficiency, it needs to be mixed extremely weak. I mean very calorically weak. So you don't get very many calories passing through the GI tract efficiently. I know a few athletes that say, well I know I need you know, 250 calories an hour, this glucose based drink is 100 calories per scoop, I'll just make two and a half scoops. Well now that concentration is too high. It, it, it's above the parameters of what body fluid chemistry is and it literally sits in your stomach and starts fermenting until one of two things happen. You have to either drink more fluid to lower the chemical osmolity of that too concentrated sugar mix, at which point you're probably flirting with overhydration, or your body has to pull fluids and electrolytes away from the working muscles and divert them to the, to the stomach, to the digestive tract, just to again lower the chemical solution so that it can pass through the digestive tract efficiently. So the two inherent problems with simple sugars, they have a very, very short term energy supply and they have a very low ceiling in terms of how many calories your body can comfortably accept, digest and convert to energy. Maltodextrin is a five chain sugar, a five chain complex carbohydrate. We like using this for a couple of reasons. Number one, maltodextrin has the same glycemic index as pure glucose. So it will elevate your blood sugar levels as quickly as glucose will. That's desirable, highly desirable during and immediately after exercise. But unlike simple sugars, instead of going up and then straight down, it's a much longer lasting, very smooth energy. To use kind of a silly analogy, when you use simple sugars to fuel your body, it's like lighting a piece of paper on fire. Yeah, you get some heat, but it burns quick, hot, and it's out. Whereas complex carbs are kind of like put, putting kindling on the fire. It burns longer, more evenly, and smoother, and when the heat or energy does die down, it's very gradual. The second reason we like maltodextrin is because your body can accept and digest with complete efficiency, meaning no stomach distress, a greater volume of calories than it can from simple sugars. When you make a simple sugar drink, the, the most concentrated you can make it is about 60 to 80 calories or maybe about 80 to, or 6 to 8 percent or maybe about 80 to 100 calories. Maltodextrins, the complex carbs we use in our fuels, you can make at a concentration up to 18 percent you get that full 280 calories and it will pass through the GI tract as efficiently as normal body fluids, which means no stomach distress and you're giving your body the full amount of calories that it needs to convert to energy. So we highly recommend avoiding simple sugars in your fuel using complex carbs only.